Superglottic airway demonstration. Your superglottic airways are the king and the LMA. And since the procedures are exactly the same, I'm only going to be demonstrating on the king because oh, wait, doing it twice. So the king sizing is designated by height, whereas the LMA is designated by weight. So before you start using the king, you want to check to see if the patient is apneic, and you want to position their airway and insert an OPA and an NPA to size. and bag temporarily at a rate of 12 to 20 breaths per minute. At this point, I will have my partner take over bagging while I prep the king. So you want to remove the packaging, make sure it's the right size, and inflate it initially to make sure it has no damage. Looks good. So, instruct my partner to stop bagging, remove airway adjuncts, and with a lubricated king, insert the level of the teeth, green plate, remove the mask from the bag, and resume bagging at a rate of 12 to 20. And what you can do is, while my partner resumes bagging, is check airway placement with by checking lung sounds on both sides, listening for normal airway sounds, and checking for negative gastric distension, which will sound like gurgling. And then you can also confirm placement with capnography and if there's skin condition and SPO2 are improving. Super glad I